What's up, YouTube? It's your guy, Kent Hollywood Matzinger. We're back at it. It's live. It is Sunday night. What's going on? Where well, I got some people in the chat, so I decided to go ahead and hit that live button. Uh, we're going to invite some people, and uh, let's have some fun. Let's talk about some Marvel Legends. Dr. Applesauce, what's up? Mary777, Ray, Kate. Good question. Good question. Uh, I like your Walgreens having Marvel Legends. Now we just got to get that. Uh, got to get that Emma Frost in. Kaden, what's going on? Rodimus, what's happening? Oklahoma Bob in the chat. That an Emma Frost. Uh, you need to pick her up, Kate. Pick her up. That's a uh, that's an awesome figure. Uh, watch. Yeah, definitely gonna play with some toys. So you study, you study. Chris Barcodes, Jay Wilkins, what's happening? Pops or Legends? Uh, how about both? How about both? Gloomsfer, what's happening? Jiminy Crickets. Martha Fillmore, hello. The pop-in couple, what's happening? All right, well, I started a little early. Like I said, I was excited seeing people in the chat. Harley, what's going on? We're going to invite a couple people, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have some fun. We got some 80th Marvel figures. We got uh, a figure I picked up at a mini con yesterday, an event, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what other fun stuff we can get into tonight. Uh, if y'all haven't noticed, uh, display. We got a few new things uh, behind us. Switched out some of the Marvel Legends. Did a little bit of dusting. Got it, got it looking pretty good. So let's invite some people. What's up, Vince? And let's see. That was not what I wanted to hit. There it is. And let's sneak that in right there. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. 19 people what is happening it's sunday night uh like i said we got some good stuff i got a couple of boxes if we want to open up some boxes i got some figures if we want to open up some figures so we'll definitely uh have some fun tonight with uh some marvel uh yeah uh switched it up so we got a ton of MCU characters right here. And uh, how about some more MCU characters? More MCU characters. Uh, so y'all kind of get the drift. Uh, switched out. Put a lot of the MCU behind me. We got Thanos in the Black Order there. And Thanos kind of versus the Avengers. So... Definitely got a lot of figures going around. Uh, we got some Captain Marvel here. So yeah, we uh, we switched some things up. Hopefully y'all like it. Definitely uh, still got to work on the lighting. Uh, not quite getting enough lighting on those back figures. So gonna definitely have to play with that and uh, see if we can't get those things lit up. Hey, this 24, what's going on? What is up? Welcome to the chat. All right, let me send out a couple invites. Let the people know. Doesn't look too bad. Well, thank you, Dr. Applesauce. Uh, I was going for a bad look, so... It's, uh, it's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Of course, we got our new cap, Peggy Carter, front and center. Got my buddy Loki here. 
keeping an eye on the chat. K and Q, what's going on? Uh, thank you, Vince. Yeah, it's it's been a pretty exciting week. Uh, definitely appreciate all the support. Uh, a lot of good videos, contents went out, some pretty cool live streams. So definitely uh, appreciate everybody watching, supporting the channel. If, uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks for uh, jumping in. If you've been here for a while, thanks for sticking around. Uh, yeah, definitely planning on some fun, fun content. And uh, the channel, the collection video has been going awesome. So thanks, everybody, checking out that video. Uh, it's, a, it's a good time to be in the Kent Pool Live, that's for sure. Master Bat 117 hello there. Don't know how you still have a room. Um, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a project every day. Every day, bring on the figs. Thank you, Jetta Patrol. Uh, Jetta Patrol just did a Hot Toys Iron Man video. Uh, I was lucky enough to help out with some of that video. So uh, definitely make sure you check out the newest Jetta Patrol Hot Toys Iron. Oh, was I supposed to say that? It's a it's a mystery video with uh, times three hundred. So uh, go check it out, Marvel. It's Marvel stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it was insane. And uh, thank you. Definitely got to. Anytime I get to hang out with Ryan and kind of see how I can kind of build on my craft and content, it is awesome. So I, I appreciate that opportunity. Yep, going off script. I, uh, I tend to go off script. You can, uh, you can count on that with the channel. Do you make autographs on your mystery boxes? Yeah, I've uh, I signed a few pops. Ah, uh, thanks, three hundred. I probably do only deserve three hundred. Not uh, not enough for three thousand. I I am probably in the uh, in the low to mid three hundreds. Harold Green, what's going on? Uh, awesome picture. Definitely uh, love to see those Star Wars figures in action. Jason, what's going on? Do you have any new unboxed action figures? Well, I got a couple new figures. I got, uh, I found this guy at a mini con yesterday. It was an event. This is a three and three quarter scale green goblin from the Spider Man movie. So uh, we might be able to unbox that tonight. Only paid $15. What a deal. What a deal. I was, uh, was happy to pick that guy up because uh, I imagine probably brand new. I think three and three quarter scales maybe go for like 12 bucks or something. So for being older and uh, kind of a cool figure, 15 wasn't bad. OMG, love to you, my friend. Well, thank you, Glamour. Thank you, thank you. Goblin is cool. Yeah, I like Goblin. So uh, if that's too old, uh, I found this Iron Man today. I think this is a new figure, even though we're celebrating 80 years of Marvel. So uh, we can definitely open this figure up if anybody wants to see this Iron Man. Looks like there's some effects pieces in there. Maybe a couple helmets, a couple head sculpts. And we also got this guy. He's uh he's not fat Thor, but he is our OG Thor. So uh, we could definitely check this guy out if you want to see him. So yeah, we got some cool figures. Uh, I picked up my second Nightcrawler. So if you didn't get to see Nightcrawler out of the box uh, the other night when we did 
the uh, unboxing, we might be able to pull this one out as well. So yeah, we got some figures. We got some older ones. We got some new ones. Uh, I got a couple of boxes too. Um, I got a shoe me box. Any uh, anybody here like shoe me? If uh, if you like shoe me, go to their website. Use the app. On your way at checking out, go ahead and use my code jump in. Save yourself a little bit of money on Shoe Me. And I'm sure you all have seen like a million of these. And I'm not talking about the tiki unboxings. I have an Amazon box, and I'm sure you all can guess what it is. There's been a ton of videos and spoilers and all that good stuff. So, yeah. We got boxes, we got figures. It's uh, it's gonna be a fun night in the old camp pool. All right, let's go. GP picked up Thor at my local Target. Me too, man. Me too. I was happy to find Thor, and I appreciate all the people at Target. They're probably happy that uh, I'm not running numbers at them anymore, trying to get those. Get them to look up those DPCIs. So uh, thanks for all your help, Target employees. Kane Q, what is going on? Duda Reviews, welcome to the chat. Thanks for hanging out. Captain Pop, what's going on? Besides cons, what are ways to get my hands on older Marvel Legends that I missed out on? Um, so you can definitely go on to eBay. Uh, the challenge with eBay is uh, trying to find the price that you're happy with paying. Uh, a lot of times when I go on to eBay, I look at how much things are selling for. And if they're selling for a price that uh, I want to try, then, uh, you know, you get in there. Um, besides eBay and cons, uh, check out local stores. There are some different stores that buy and sell uh, some older figures. Uh, we have a couple in the Charlotte area. And as long as the figures aren't too, list, too loose... Um, I don't mind buying older figures out of box at stores. Angie Thomas, what's going on? Hey, hey, hey. Jiminy Crickets. Yes, local comic book shops. Um, it uh, helps support them. It helps people that... Uh, might need to sell those collections or maybe getting out of collecting. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. I found a Sentinel Toy Biz build a figure for like 50 bucks on Marketplace. So definitely keep an eye on your Marketplace and uh, check out Facebook groups. There are different Facebook groups, and sometimes you run into other collectors that. Uh, you know, they know what the item's worth, and they might be able to work something out with you. Christina Payne, make sure everybody is uh, being good in the chat because uh, Christina Payne is here, one of the best mods, so uh, be good. Let's see. Yeah, Barnes & Noble clearance is a good way to get some legends. That is true, Nick Money. That is true. Um, I tend to avoid Amazon uh, unless the price is retail. Uh, there are definitely some high prices on every source. Uh, even if you see some of the secondary sellers on like walmart.com and stuff. So just kind of have an idea of the price, how much you want to play, pay, and then uh, you just got to be patient. Uh, I've seen passed on things and found them at better prices so you just got to find that price that you're comfortable with then be ready to pull the trigger when somebody's at that price 
What are your thoughts on new Spider-Man wave announced? Mama said, pop you out. Uh, excited, a little confused. Superior octopus. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, Hasbro. Uh, I think I'm happy with the two Spider-Man from the video game. Um, let's see. Vulture classic OG Vulture is going to be sweet. So nice addition. Um, I hope I don't mess up his name. Um, Shang-Chi, I think it's going to be cool. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I've seen him in other storylines, like Avengers and stuff. So I'm not sure about the Spider-Man run. But uh, I think that's going to be an awesome figure. I am totally confused by White Rabbit. Totally confused by White Rabbit. Um, I don't know if somebody at Hasbro just was like, hey, we have these pieces. We can make this figure. Like, I don't know where they got White Rabbit from. Um, like, I've been kind of reading up since the announcement, and I think it's kind of cool. But, oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, hi, Jeanette. It's, uh, she is definitely a reference to Alice in Wonderland. It is, uh, like she has the little clock piece and all that kind of crazy stuff. So white rabbit in the matrix. Yeah. It's so weird. Like, again, I don't know if they're just like, Hey, um, we got these pieces laying around from these other figures. Let's, uh, I think we can make white rabbit. Let's, uh, let's try it. Um, the only reason I'm disappointed, we got um, the two Spider-Man from the video game. So I really would have been happy with a Mr. Negative. They made the figure three and three quarter scale. So they totally know how to make him all that good stuff. Suited body, just a pretty cool color scheme to, to make the Mr. Negative. Uh, I thought with the two Spider-Man from the game, you know, it would be a great opportunity to uh, to have our Mr. Negative, but I guess I'll be waiting for another day. Yeah, get us, uh, get us some. We got three Spider-Man now. Let's uh, let's get a Mr. Negative. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Give me a I'll take a Spider-Man uh video game wave. That'd be awesome. Rhino could be the bath. Um we'll see what they end up doing. Again, I try to think about bigger characters, but that's not always the case. Uh I'm interested to see how big uh Fat Thor is gonna be compared. Like I don't think he's gonna be a massive uh build a figure. I think he'll be a little taller, but he's probably going to be, you know, the size of a typical Thor Marvel, Le Marvel legend, except just a little wider this time. Spare time. What is happening? Yeah, so the shelves are restocked. We got mostly MCU figures, so very cool. Yeah, I'm Umbaku size, which again, Umbaku, not a bad size, but um, just not as massive as uh, some of the other builder figures. Uh, Jeanette, I got, um, if you go to Teesprings, uh, check out some of the videos, and there is a link to Teesprings if you want a Kent Pool Live t shirt. It has uh, the logo, Can't Pool Live, on the t-shirts, and there are some different t-shirt styles, uh, men's, women's. So, uh, yeah, Teesprings, check it out. Electro would be great. Jamie Foxx, an amazing Spider-Man, too. Uh, I got him somewhere around here. Where did Electro? He's, uh, he's on the top shelf with, uh, with the amazing Spider-Man up there. Way up there. All right, so do y'all want to see 
Do we want to see a box? We got the Shumi box. We got the Amazon box. We got this green goblin. We got Iron Man. We got Thor. Got Nightcrawler. So uh, y'all let me know what do you all want to see. What do y'all want to see? Kate okay, Davis, I want to see that uh, that Emma Frost, Marvel Legend. Uh, she is definitely on the radar. Definitely need to get her. Did you see that X Mansion diorama the guy made and bought to the Mexican? No. Um, Chris Barcodes, you'll have to let me know if, uh, if that was on somebody's video. Uh, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I'd like to see that. Ray, thanks for stopping in. It looks like Green Goblin is an older figure. Yeah, it's uh, the older movie figure, uh, three and three quarter scale. And uh, when we open it up, I'll uh, I'll let y'all know why I why I picked it up. Uh, Green Goblin's good. Uh, if they keep pushing. The uh, the Tom Holland, I think eventually we'll get a Green Goblin, but it's uh, it's definitely a slow build for it. Yo Jay, what's happening? All right, I think I'm seeing a good amount of Shumi. So uh, let's go with the Shumi box. Uh, I think this will be fun. If I recall, this is going to be Marvel related. Uh, this isn't one of the mystery boxes. Uh, this should be a Marvel related item. And just for uh, just for those people, uh, I'm still still picking up Funko Pops. It's just, uh, it's been a busy Marvel Legends time, so uh, definitely uh, been scooping up a lot of Marvel Legends, but uh, uh, still getting some pops. Yes, Shumi Nation. And again, if you're on the Shumi or the Shumi app, uh, when you're in checkout, go ahead and use my code. Jump in, capital J, lowercase U M P I N, and uh, save yourself a little money. Uh, I am excited for the Walgreens. They're getting a lot of the Spider Man pops and that Future Foundation Spider Man. Y'all know how much I love that Marvel Legends, so I'm definitely going to be getting that Funko Pop. I did not get the flocked bullseye. Um, crazy day at work. Like right at nine, I had to do something and it was gone when I got back. So here we go. This is PX Previews exclusive. Got the Nova. This is uh, definitely a pretty cool pop. Marvel Legends. Uh, Nova all powered up. And uh, we'll see before you know it. Uh, I bet this guy will make some kind of appearance in the MCU. Especially uh, as we keep going more and more galactic. Yeah, it's a sweet pop. Uh, helmet, body, everything looks good on the pop. And of course, it's in a Shumi protector. So uh, the pop is in, the box is in great shape. And this says it's limited to 30,000. I did not know that. But yeah, pretty cool pop. Very, uh, very Nova. Nova. 
So Nova, um, he was kind of like, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy before Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, almost like they had the Nova Corps, and in the comics, they're more like the Green Lanterns. Like they run around, they have sectors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, their suits are kind of powered up, where they can fly, blast, all that kind of cool stuff. But uh, yeah. Nova. Uh, they changed up the Nova core a little bit for the Guardians of the Galaxy movie uh, with the main planet of the Nova core kind of getting slammed by Thanos uh, off screen. Maybe uh, maybe it'll be time for us to see the uh, the powered up Nova core going forward in the MCU. <clears throat> Yes, minty box for sure. So if y'all couldn't tell, I'm uh, I'm a little excited for this green goblin. Let's uh let's go ahead and open up this green goblin. Uh, I never buy three and three quarter inch figures, so this is definitely a surprise that I uh, picked this up and uh, the figure looks pretty cool and if y'all have been following the channel for a while you know that I pick up Marvel Select and some other scales Sometimes just for the other stuff besides the figure. And uh, this came with two bombs. Two bombs. And uh, sad to say, that is pretty much why I bought this figure. I wanted the, uh, the pumpkin bombs. Because these things are small. And they are very easy to lose. And I have, yes, I buy accessories. <laughs> buy accessories. So I needed these pumpkin bombs. And uh, I bought this figure to get the pumpkin bombs. But here is the goblin. They got him like rubber band to the come on got him like rubber banded to the glider and uh not a bad figure but uh just not the right scale maybe this could be like a baby goblin uh little robot So not bad. Uh, the helmet and all that stuff looks good. Uh, looks just like how I remember it in the movie. So not a bad looking figure. A girl you dated in college. Did you date her because she looked like the Green Goblin? Thought, uh, thought she was a celebrity, the Green Goblin? Now, the other thing I might play with, um, this glider is a pretty good size. So this might actually might actually work with the Marvel Legends. So I might end up using the glider. The other cool thing about the glider is uh, the little pumpkin bombs fit into the glider so maybe uh maybe it'll be easier not to lose them if i just uh leave them in the glider and use this glider opposed to uh the glider that came with the marvel legends but yeah that's pretty cool like I said, I scooped this up. Uh, definitely 
wanted the pumpkin bombs want uh they are definitely easy to lose and uh not very easy to replace i've definitely been working looking on ebay to see if i could find a couple replacements but there is our goblin on the glider yeah i need a flight stand for the glider that is true and it kind of like flimsy the apart so you can go like a little wider flip the goblin if you want a little wider a little bit of a bend but you know if you're down with uh three and three quarter scales uh this is not a bad looking figure and uh they did a lot of different figures at that scale there's still quite a few figures at the three and three quarter scale that uh that have not been made into marvel legends so uh there's definitely some cool figures if you're into that scale yeah the glider's pretty awesome So yeah, not bad. Uh, like I said, that's pretty much why I picked that up. We'll uh, we'll see how long the uh, goblins out. He'll uh, he'll probably get tossed in with the box of misfit toys. Do you have hobgoblin? Yep, he is one of the goblins that's missing a bomb, so he'll be getting a bomb. He'll be getting a bomb. But yeah, Hobgoblin is a very nice uh, Marvel Legends figure. Definitely want to have that figure. If you're into uh, some spider people. Uh, yeah, that is a good idea. I might, uh, I might have to look into that because... Uh, like I said, the goblin bombs, they uh, they hit the floor, and good luck. I just hope one day I don't step on a goblin bomb, that uh, that could be a bad day. All right, I'm thinking 80 years. I'm thinking Marvel. Who do we want to see? We want Thor. We want Iron Man. Who's uh who's gonna be up next? Who 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 do we want to see? Recovering Toy Attic. What's going on? We got Thor. We got Iron Man. Who will win? 80 years. Oh, man, I'm seeing some Thors. I see one Iron Man. Uh, do you have Series 6 Deadpool? Uh, Jack, the I think the only Deadpool I don't have... Um, like, I have all of the Hasbro Deadpools. I don't think... Uh, the only Deadpool that I'd really like to have is the one that comes with uh, Dupe or whatever the that X-Men character's name is. And I think that was a Toy Biz one. So we got Thor, and uh, that looks good. Look at that Thor on the side. And check out that art on the back. Yeah, dupe. God of Hammer. Hammer time. Thor, a mighty Asgardian. Thor is the god of thunder and the son of Odin. King of the Asgardians, he wields the hammer, Mjolnir, <laughs> Mjolnir, 
and has the power to call on lightning from the heavens to strike down his enemies. It's Thor. And we're still getting that bright red. Bright red. Blue the white blast. And I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know that we've. I don't think we've had a classic Thor like this uh, since Hasbro took over. I think the closest Hasbro's done is, uh, I think they did the 90s Thor with like the beard and everything. So this should, uh, should fit in with the Asgardians uh, very nice. package and definitely that classic classic look uh we got kind of this hand open maybe uh calling for his hammer uh the other hand is open enough where you can probably fit the hammer Oh, yeah, this is definitely uh, straight out of the comics, old school. Definitely representing those 80 years of Marvel. Needs to make other two Thor core members, too. Nice. Yeah, definitely... So this is pretty cool as Thor takes a total nose dive. That wasn't very nice of Thor to jump off the table like that. Not nice at all. Santos, what's happening? Action figure Phil, welcome to the chat. We're uh, we're opening up. 80 years Thor, straight out of the comics. Yeah, he uh, he had too many. Not uh, not milk, that's for sure. All right, so check this out. This is probably one of the cooler features with the figure. Uh, yeah, all the writing on the hammer. This is definitely the enchantment very cool very cool thor and let's see Second. It's uh, just a little wider stance, and let's raise this up, and boom, it's Thor. Uh, Thor should look, uh, I think he's going to look really good with the Loki we just got uh, from the new Hulk build a figure wave so definitely excited to get thor and loki up with the asgardians so yeah this is pretty cool definitely happy with how that thor turned out 
And let's see, we do get one alternate hand. And it is a closed fist. So instead of having his other hand open, you can have the hammer and a fist. Very cool. It's Thor. And I definitely like the hammer and the detail with the writing and stuff. Uh, I think that's going to be cool. Uh, definitely going to play around with some pictures and stuff. Probably with him and Loki. Maybe we could get a frog uh, Thor. And Loki could be changing Thor into the frog. Next up, Tony Stark himself, the Iron Man. We got this awesome, awesome Iron Man on the side. Check out that Iron Man on the back. And let's see... Genius, industrialist, and inventor, Tony Stark creates a suit of armor for himself. Powered by the arc reactor in his chest, becoming the hero, Iron Man. If only we had like 10 years of movies about this guy, huh? It, it'd probably be easier to understand uh, his story if we had like 10 years of movies and I don't know, like maybe... 22 movies over 10 years. Maybe uh, maybe then people would like, yes, who is Iron Man? Who is Iron Man? Got our red blaster box. Apparently red is the way to go. If, uh, if you're into the 80 years. Captain Pop, that is so kind of you. Thank you. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, if you all haven't had an opportunity, uh, Captain Pop was uh, at a con this weekend. I saw a lot of awesome pictures on his Instagram. So uh, definitely check out Captain Pop. Uh, got to hang out with a lot of interesting characters at the, at the con. So check out his pictures on Instagram and his YouTube channel. Uh, Nick Money, that, uh, that's no good, but, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Captain America could tell you, uh, what you should, uh, catch up on. Oh, wow. I was not, I mean, the guy is called Iron Man, but I was not expecting this figure to be this heavy. There's, a, there's definitely a little bit of weight to this guy. And here is Iron Man. Look at that, Iron Man. That's nice. Uh, I think this is similar to the Iron Man that came out with the um, Iron Monger wave. But uh, definitely nice. Uh, paint looks good. Definitely a fan of the paint job. And uh, this looks real good out of the package. Iron Man. So nothing too crazy. Uh, this one foot just looks a little off. But I'm sure it's okay. But yeah, cool. The... Uh, you got a fist hand. You got an open hand. These open hands. Peg. Oh, man. Peg in our repulsor blast. So you got that blast effect. Or if you want Iron Man kind of blasting off, you can use the peg and effect there 
we also have this bigger blast effect. And you can actually add to how big the blast is coming out of Tony. So Tony had a uh, taco Tuesday. He's got some Thursday blasts coming out and that is a big blast. But yeah, solid figure. Uh, I think a good showing. I'm sure some people might wait on this figure. Uh, price point is a little higher than normal. I think this was like maybe $6 more. So uh, definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, just like the MCU 10 years, uh, eventually if these figures land everywhere, you can uh, you can play some long game and uh, get them for a little cheaper. But here's that blast effect without the other blast. And uh, yeah, they peg in. So if for some reason you like that uh, better as a blasting off, uh, that works as well. Early MCU Iron Man, yeah. Um, I'm not seeing a ton of issues with the paint. Um, on my figure, there's like a little bit of yellow here that's uh, going into the red just a little bit. But uh, the rest of the figure, I'm not really seeing... Iron butt, not really seeing any major paint defects out of the package. Not bad, Iron Man. Not bad, Ozzy. All right, so we got this head sculpt. Which, let's see. As I just like jerk down the camera. So we got these two head sculpts. Not a ton of difference. Judge Jack, what is going on? Yeah, I agree. Uh, that was a smaller head where this, uh, this might be a better proportion. Looks better than Jetta's hot toy. Oh, man. Poor Jetta. And here is our Tony Stark head sculpt. If I can get my mug out of the way so we can see Tony. Come on, focus in on me. Come on, focus. Focus. Not going to do it, are you? Come on. But not a bad Tony. If you want that uh, classic comic book Tony look, uh, I think uh, that's a pretty good Tony Stark. Pretty good Tony Stark. Uh, nobody wants more of those nuts. Everybody, <coughs> excuse me, everybody, see, I'm like getting choked up just thinking about them. ECL, what is happening? What is going on? All right, so uh, do we want to see the Amazon box? Iron Man 
Iron Man comes with one more open hand for another blast. And one more closed fist. There it is. Iron Fist. Oh, that's another character. Iron Man. Uh, Y'all want to see the Amazon box? <clears throat> oh, yeah, Nick Adams. He's got the Superman mustache. Uh, yeah, and then you'd have to buy, like, other figures to get the accessories. It's crazy, crazy trying to keep up with some of these small accessories. Got to keep an eye on the hounds. They, uh, they try to find pieces. You have to let them know that's not their toys. Those are my toys. Not theirs, mine. 43 people in the chat, 39 thumbs up. Y'all are too, too kind. Appreciate everybody hanging out on a Sunday night. What's up, Mike Freedom? Wow, what is going on? Thurger, Torres? Requis, what is going on? I know I just like slaughtered that name. Thagro. I'm uh, I'm not the best with names, but uh, I appreciate you coming by and jumping in the chat. Appreciate it. Ray is back. We got Ray. So, out of the Amazon box, boom, Peru, Ice Meat X, Roundhead Collector, what's going on? It's from Amazon, so if... Uh, if you're not trying to get this spoiled, you uh, you might want to head out. But this is the Marvel Collector's Core. And uh, this is the Far From Home box. And this is the first time I'm opening it up. So let's see. We got a little bag. So after you've uh, come back from the blip, uh, you got your Midtown School of Science and Technology. Uh, might start seeing these at cons. Uh, only time will spoil away. Thank you, Sizzle Jones. Autocorrect primer. What's happening? We got our little guide here to uh, to the things. And uh, next box, 80 years of Marvel. No Wolverines today. Uh, I wish. I wish. We need a 80. Oh, yeah, we're getting an 80 years Wolverine. So we got a Spider-Man hacky sack. Who's uh, Who's been looking for a Spider-Man hacky sack? Because uh, we got one. Just a geek for life. What's going on? So we got our hacky sack. We got our decal. Nice little decal. Uh, yes, Joe Fix It. Uh, I bought that figure loose uh i wish i had the gun for it because uh that gun is pretty cool but uh unfortunately 
it was a good price and I wanted the figure so I scooped it up without the gun and we got our spider-man Peter Parker with a borrowed jersey I uh, I was seeing some of these at the mini con I don't know if people were just not very excited about the borrowed jersey do you think we'll get the dude that uh, gave him the shirt next? How often do you do live streams? Uh, typically, I have a Sunday night live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern prior to Jetta Patrol on YouTube. But uh, it just depends. Uh, I went live like three times this week, so... If you, uh, if you want to catch the live streams, just uh, make sure you got the notifications on. Haven't seen a hacky sack in years. Same. Ah, hello from France. Thank you. Uh, France, where uh, Spider Monkey is one of the greatest, or not, uh, not Spider Monkey. It's that that would be an interesting uh, hero. Night Monkey. Night Monkey, the hero of Europe. But yeah, definitely have your notifications on uh, if you want to know when we're going live. Do you ever invite guests? Uh, it just depends. Um, we've definitely had guests on the channel. We've had an awesome angel stream. Uh, with some of our awesome mods. So uh, it just depends on what's going on. But yeah, we've had guests on the channel. And then last but not least, we got our Mysterio. And this Mysterio has a light up. And look at that guy go. He is so Mysterio. We'll get it one more time. Ready? Boom. He is lit up. And uh, I think the box uh, definitely helps out with uh, the light up and everything. One more time. Three. Three times. Oh, yeah. Look at all that lit up Mysterio. So very cool. Um, definitely... I could probably live without the hacky sack, uh, the bag, the borrowed jersey pop, but uh, I definitely like the Mysterio, the decals, okay. Uh, Would have, uh, I think I'd rather have a Midtown High t-shirt than, uh, than a bag. That would have been cool. I'm surprised you didn't pick that one up in the box when I saw you had it at the con the other day. Oh, nice. Yeah. What Mysterio? Uh, the shirt was in the Homecoming box. Okay. I must, uh, I must not have been ordering boxes back then. Because I think, uh, what did, what was the first Marvel box I got? Because I know I missed the Deadpool box, so, yeah, I've missed a couple boxes. Yeah, it's a pretty cool Mysterio. Not bad. Uh, yeah, but Nick Money, I want it in the box now. I don't want, uh, I don't want to go to Hot Topic and buy it. Uh, what do y'all say? You want to see one more figure? Unbox one more figure? I don't know if everybody was here the other night when, uh, when I did the Wendigo wave, but, uh, we can open up this Nightcrawler if y'all want to see Nightcrawler. You don't see any Mysterio? Mysterio? Yes, the Night Monkey. 
champion of Europe. Master Bat. Thinking about getting an extra Deadpool and Hit Monkey set and seeing if I can put Rocket, Raccoon's hands, head, and feet. Nice. That uh that could be interesting. That would be uh one heck of a rocket. Where do you get so much budget? Um, you know, I work hard, so I play hard. And uh, a lot of times I'll sell stuff, buy new stuff. So the collection is uh, always changing. Kurt Wagner, Wagner, Wagner. Oh, yeah. People, uh, people like pops, that's for sure. Especially uh, little people. Little people like pops. Big people like pops. Medium people like pops, you know. Pops, uh, pops can be fun. I like buying pops. I like selling pops. It just depends. So we get a Wendigo arm. So I got another Wendigo arm. Definitely uh, got to stock up on all those build a figure parts. There is the sword. Good old Nightcrawler sword. Dystopian guy. There are a lot of things, that's for sure. For sure. But uh, I like a lot of Marvel. Every once in a while, uh, I'll get something that isn't Marvel. So every once in a while, I'll pick up a Batman, all that good stuff. Uh, I wish I had a Blob Build-A-Figure for sale. Uh, I need a blob. I was really hoping that uh, Hasbro would just go ahead and do like a blob toad two pack. That uh, that would make me very happy. So Hasbro, if you're watching, a uh, blob and toad two pack. Let's uh let's do it for uh before I spend some of that big blob money. When do you plan to stop collecting action figures? Uh probably never. Probably never. Um I definitely I enjoy collecting I enjoy uh, going out and finding the figures and going to different shows and stuff. So probably never. Started looking for Blob, build a figure, since you mentioned it a lot. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, She-Hulk is uh, she's good in that set. That's a, that's a good figure. Definitely a good figure. Uh, I doubt they'll ever stop making them. The, the way Hasbro's going, it's like more and more and more and more. Uh, Mike, best of luck on your hunt. Uh, it took me a minute to, uh, to get that Iron Man, so definitely uh, don't give up. Sorry, this, uh, this head is fighting me. Do you have the Galactus Build-A-Figure? No, I need, uh, I definitely need the Galactus Build-A-Figure. Um, I like the Toy Biz Build-A-Figures. 
but I'm not a huge fan of the actual Toy Biz figures. So sometimes I don't have a bunch of the Builder figures because I've never been in a rush to get the actual figures. So here is one of our head sculpts for our night crawler. Nice little smile. Josh Barefoot, thank you. Appreciate you jumping in the chat. And then uh, we got this uh, battle ready. Definitely uh, letting people know that he means business. So these three head sculpts are part of the reason I wanted to get more than one figure of the Nightcrawler. And then he comes with an open hand so he can hold on to his sword better. Yeah, uh, definitely keep a lookout. I've seen um, the Windigo wave hitting both uh, Walmart and Target, so there'll be plenty of figures. Just uh, just got to be ready. Be ready to get them. Well, thank you. I, I definitely I try to have fun collecting and... Uh, Definitely want to share that fun of collecting here on the channel. So hopefully everybody uh, gets to enjoy it. But uh, it's uh, about 8.05, 8.03. I'm going to jump off here. If, uh, if y'all want to see an awesome, awesome live stream, head over to Jetta Patrol. I think Shumi Mia is going to be on there. And uh, come hang out. I will be one of the mods in the chat for Jetta After Dark. Um, so if you're looking for a fun place to hang out in chat, definitely head over that way. Uh, stay tuned for more videos this week. Thanks again for all the support. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining. If you've been here for quite a while, thanks for hanging in there and being uh, part of the Kent Pool Live. Um, definitely so much fun hanging out with y'all, talking about figures, showing y'all figures. So definitely appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you over on Jetta After Dark. Always be hunting. Have fun collecting.